All right, mini panic here, and it, it uh, came true. When I put my table on here, which would be under the underside, I'm right where those holes are going to be covered, right on. So I've got to rotate over and get my holes in front of a drink cup over, and then I'll be fine. Son of a... I mean, that's not such a bad idea either to have them behind these drink holders. But it's life in the big leagues. I got way too ahead of myself. All right, the re drilling process was successful. And I'm still dealing with the same thing is before where I've got just a little bit of a high edge here. I want to make sure that these things, yeah, they move. So that's just going to be the way it is, I guess. I, I could sand this, feather this edge down, but there's no guarantee that it would stay that way. I'm going to put the felt on it, uh, put my anchor, my pin, getting closer to saying done. One last check here. Uh, the table fits snugly. I had taken this one out for some reason. I don't know why, but anyway, it doesn't, I don't need it. But you can see where these uh, knobs land now, where before they were going to land right here. Uh, so that that's what holds that disc in. That's going to be the playing surface with the felt on it. Uh, so this looks great. I'm, I'm pleased. It'll, it'll all come apart and it can be put away. It'll come apart into three pieces, I guess. These two halves and the, and the centerpiece. The card table, of course, I guess is another. So, all right, I got the finish put on there. Uh, two coats of shellac, a light sand, coat of uh, General Finishes Armor Seal Satin, well, just one coat, and then uh, kind of a light wet sand with a thousand grit sandpaper and it's it is just really smooth and those scratches are so fine uh, you know and it's a satin finish and it's a poker table it's not fine furniture that when I look at it in the sunlight near away I can't really see anything, you know, out of the ordinary. The, the color pattern, the color uh, uniformities hasn't changed. So I'm gonna let I'm gonna let it be. And even if I did put more finish on, all I would do would be just put it on this area here, and and the outside rim. That uh, that's all. That would, this this does not even need any more finish. It's going to get the uh, felt glued to it now. The thing that I uh, want to bring up here is now that it's together and I can uh, lock it down again with, the, with these knobs underneath, uh, that's all well and good. But when this is on, I, I'm going to lose my sight line here for locating it. You know, I have the, uh, the uh, space marked over there with. with permanent marker that, that that hole lines up over there. That's my my mark. Here's the split line right here running this way. But I think what I need to do is I need to have another I need to have another locator pin so that I don't have to fuss around with this thing. So I'm gonna drill one um, in between these two holes right here. 
that just with this all in place I'm going to drop in another pin um, out here somewhere. Actually what I should do is take this apart and see where my cross is and drill the pin into that because that goes all the way through uh, solid material. Okay my uh, two, er, quarter inch piece that's about three and a half inches wide is running right through here. Now, with this being the center line so it's probably about like this. And um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this is my, again, my hole over there that I want to line up so that the other three match. I'm gonna come in about six inches. I want to give myself some room to pull that cloth over and lock it in place. So I'm gonna come in about right here, make a mark, and that's where I'm gonna drill my hole. We're in about three-eighths. That's good enough. All right, I got everything masked off. But before I get carried away here, I think what I'm going to do is take and iron these major creases out of it. At least I hope I can, so that it lays flat. I cannot. I can pull them out, but. Once that adhesive is on, I'm not sure that that's going to work out all that great. Yeah, I think I'm going to I'm going to want to iron that and that, and then this part right here as well. All right, here goes nothing. Nice and smooth. I'm glad I ironed it. That'll be nice. Now I gotta get this flipped over, get the paper unstuck from the from the felt and then I'll wrap it. such a good idea. Let me get this tape off and we'll call it good. I'll keep working away at this and I'll come back when I'm done here. Alright, 
got my staple gun. I got uh, the majority of this stuff off. I've got a little paper there, but I'm not going to be too concerned about it. It wraps uh, over. Well, I found out I'm not an upholsterer, I'll tell you that, but just cutting off the remaining part of this. I was using the scissors, but that adhesive sometimes it just uh, clog up the, the two blades. Much easier to do it that way. Okay, let's flip it over and see how it looks. Now I know that the felt is going to be a little bit high, but that's okay. That's kind of a part of the plan, I guess. Center. There's my locating pin. That looks nice. Ouch. Clean it off a little. Very good. Okay. Forgot where the holes are. Right there. Now the one thing I didn't put on there was the uh, the clamps to hold it to the card table, but that's no big. I like it. I like it a lot. That is really sweet. Poker anyone? This project just turned out fabulous. I am so happy with this one. Thanks for watching.